I'm Dr. Neil Bowen, the Director of the Behavioral Services Division for the State of New Mexico. Prior to taking this position, I served as the Chief Mental Health Officer for a federally qualified health clinic in the southwestern corner of the state. And there I was able to hire certified peer support specialists, certified by the Office of Peer Recovery and Engagement. Once we had them on staff, I just wanted more and more of them because their ability, their particular ability to connect to the folks that were suffering from substance use disorders or from serious mental illness was remarkable. One of the things I'm aware of is that peers have a unique way of increasing the empowerment of folks suffering from substance use disorders as well as from serious mental illness, it increases their ability to be empathetic to others around them and to society increases their optimism of being able to build a, that meaningful and satisfying life that all of us deserve to have. And it, the peer support specialists also are able to increase the amount of social support. And as we all know, human beings, we're social creatures, and we really need that sense of connection to be healthy and, and living a, a meaningful life. Peers also have this unique ability to reduce the amount of substance use uh, engaged in by the people that they're working with. They, increase, they decrease, and this is demonstrated through, through research, they decrease the, the expression of psychotic disorders and therefore reduce the amount of time spent in hospitals for people with serious mental illness or in inpatient treatment for people suffering from substance use disorder and also reduce the number of visits to the emergency departments in our state. And that's definitely a win-win because Research shows that folks with serious mental illness or substance use disorders who go into the emergency departments spend much longer times waiting for, for care and are less likely to receive effective care than, than their neighbors who don't suffer from those disorders. How do peers do this? Well, in large part, by being able to share their lived experiences with substance use disorder or serious mental illness, or in many cases, both, and then modeling behaviors that are then available to folks when they're engaged, fully engaged with recovery. And they can also model paths that become open to people to make that significant connection to society, to make those, those contributions to the well-being of their neighbors and all the rest of us, to people who really want to make a difference, who want to be there. Peers also help in a different way by helping folks who are going through psychological and emotional challenges to find equilibrium and to engage appropriately with their healthcare providers, being open about their experiences and open about their ability to use or not use skills that are be being offered to them through care. When certified peer support specialists are hired into the healthcare system, both primary care and the behavioral healthcare system, they offer another advantage in that they give a really valued, a deeply valued human face to the workforce and to the providers to help better understand the people they're working with, the folks who are suffering from substance use disorder or serious mental illness. Like all of us, stigma gets attached to people and, and having a human face provided by certified peer support specialists helps reduce the stigma within the system itself and, in, and improves the effectiveness of the system being able to provide those vital services to the people that the peers are serving. As many people know, one of the, one of the challenges facing the state of New Mexico is, the, is relative paucity of healthcare workforce, especially behavioral healthcare workforce. We are in the midst of a crisis in the state in, in which we don't have enough providers. The providers don't really look like New Mexico. And and we don't have providers who are trained in, in the ways that we need them to be trained. And peers help us with all of those aspects. So developing the, the peer workforce is a critical part of developing the overall workforce in, in, in behavioral health in the state of New Mexico. One of the things that we have succeeded in in the Behavioral Health Services Division is we've made most, if not all, of the activities that peers engage in are, are billable to our Medicaid system. Which, which gives a, a significant financial boost to providers. And so should be an incentive for providers to make it their policy to hire certified peer support specialists whenever possible. We have, we have expanded the role of peers 
beyond accompanying people who share a life experience with them to being able to provide those services in unusual, in unusual locations, including by telehealth and in terms of being able to deliver crisis counseling by telehealth or telephonically. So the peers have become a really critical part of the behavioral health care system throughout the state of New Mexico. And I look forward to continuing to expand their role in delivering the kind of health care, the kind of integrated behavioral and primary health care that all of our neighbors in the state of New Mexico deserve. Later in this video, you'll have the opportunity to hear from employers who have hired peer support specialists. And I'm sure you'll hear meaningful and, and empowering stories about the contributions of the peers to that effective and supportive care that, the, that their patients suffering from substance use and serious mental illness receive because of the presence of the peers. You'll also hear from peers' voices themselves talking about their experiences of entering into the healthcare workforce and what it's meant to them and how it's enriched their lives.